Hey guys, got an NU battle for you. This was the third round of Arsena and Milka Keldeo's NU tournament versus Mr. Mew72. Looking at his team, I see a Torterra, Armaldo, Audino, Ditto, Alamomola, and a Gardevoir. And something that's going to be very difficult to deal with is that Ditto. I just, because it can come in and use Imposter, which means it can copy any set I have, my opponent will know exactly what kind of sets I'm running, and I won't be able to do anything about it. And as far as a Regenerator core team with Audino and Alamomola, I'm not that afraid of it. That's enough for me, let's get to it. As I said before, my opponent is Mr. Mew72. We're both going to start out with our Sealed Rockers, me with my Ridge Rock, and him with his Pinocchio, his Torterra. Uh, we both exchanged th Stealth Rock's first turn, kind of expected. Except my team doesn't fear Stealth Rocks too much. So here I'm going to switch out and go into my Val, my Cacturn, expecting the Grass or Ground type move. And uh, he goes for Earthquake, which I take fairly well. Seeing this, he's going to pull back and go into his Water Beetle. As I'm just going to go for the Giga Drain just to see how much damage it'll do. Because I know they're fairly defensive, but not really especially defensive. And it does a lot of damage to this Armaldo. So seeing this, he's going to pull back and go into his annoying, his ditto. And here's the imposter, here's the thing that's just what makes it so annoying. I go for the Giga Drain, and it does quite a bit of damage. Just goes to show exactly how much defense my Cacturn has. And I'm going to send out my Stripe. Maybe he would have predicted my move and gone for the Giga Drain, but I had to make sure. Plus, Stripe is the only thing that'll outspeed a ditto, even if it's Scarfed. Here he's going to switch into his Audino, his Nobody, as I just go for the return wanting to knock out that Ditto. But it doesn't even, it does about half to this thing, and he goes for Protect, and here I make an epic, epic prediction. I go for Wild Charge as he goes for Protect. Now I'm thinking, okay, I'll just go for Wild Charge again. He might switch into his Ditto, and I know I don't have the best of defenses. And if it does, I have Sap Sipper on this Zipstrika, which means he won't be able to get off a motor drive or anything like that which works out so awesomely for me so I send out my Val again as he sends out Gardevoir or Sheik and traces my water absorb but that doesn't really matter so here I'm gonna switch out into my special wall my Licky Licky and he's gonna go for a focus blast which well I could have expected but I just needed a wall and that does so much damage and now I see why it's life orb it's probably modest too so here I have to switch out, and I'm going to go into my own Madam as he goes for Psychic, and it's just going to do so much. It does much more than I thought, and this really just goes to show how amazing Gardevoir's special attack can be when it's modest. Anywho, I'm going to go for my Shadow Ball as he goes for his Shadow Ball, and he's left with like 1 HP, but it's going to be a double down situation because he has Life Warp. So down it goes, and he's going to send out his Nobody. I'm going to switch into my Val, and I'm pretty sure I can win this exchange. I go for a substitute, as he goes for a double edge, and I was kind of expecting toxic, but you know, that works fine too. And I, I've i actually run a double edge Audino before, I don't know if it's the standard set, but it worked out pretty well for me. I'm going to go for Giga Drain just to get some HP back, and I'm thinking that Audino, this Audino might not have a bunch of attack investment, which from that damage... It looks like it doesn't. I mean, if it had more, it probably would have been able to take me out. Or correction, if it had any, it would probably be able to take me out. He goes for Protect as I go for Focus Blast, and knowing this, he's probably not going to want to switch out into anything, and he's probably just going to sacrifice his Audino. So I go for Focus Blast. Thankfully, it knocks this thing out, and down it goes. So there goes half of the two-part Regenerator core of his team. So he sends out his Pinocchio, his Torterra, and I'm don't want to try and take this thing on unless I get some more damage on it. So I switched my Licky Licky just as fodder, and down it goes. So even though I know I'm going to get uh, knocked out, I'm going to switch into my Golurk here because I just need some damage off on this before I can bring in Cacturn to start attacking it. I go for Focus Punch just to get that damage I needed. It takes out a good chunk, and he hits me with a C-Bomb, which is going to get me down really low but not low enough to where I can't use another attack with Life Warp Recoil. So here he's going to pull back and go into his Alamomola, 
and I'm just gonna go for a dynamic punch. So I've got one more hit in me after this, and I'm gonna try and make it count. I know he's gonna go for Wish next turn, but there's not really anything I can do, and if I try and switch in, I'll die to Stealth Rocks. So gonna go for the Earthquake, it does a lot of damage, and he's just going to go for that Wish, like I thought. So, but this is good. This means I can come in with my Cacturn and knock it out. So even if he goes for Protect, I should be fine. I go for Giga Drain this turn as he just doesn't protect. I don't know if he doesn't have it or maybe he was just over predicting, but I knock it out with Giga Drain and get lots of HP back in the process. So now he's going to send out his Water Beetle and I'm not even going to chance I'm not even going to get a chance to Giga Drain this because Stealth Rocks knocks it out. So he's going to go into his Torterra and I'm just going to go for Giga Drain cuz now I got that damage off on it and I get back up to full HP. I'm not really sure what I was afraid of here. But it looks like my fears were unfounded because I'm doing enough damage and I'm recovering enough HP. I should be able to knock it out. So down goes Torterra and that's the end of the battle.